there's some public support coming out now for a monastery of nuns in Arlington who are suing the Catholic bishop. This is coming as the bishop blames the nuns for inciting hatred against him and making international news. Jason Allen reports for us tonight. With the gates to this Arlington monastery closed now for more than a month, a group of hundreds that supports the work of the Carmelite nuns is urging the Fort Worth Diocese to allow services there to resume. We strongly advocate for daily mass to return to the monastery for our nuns and community, the ladies auxiliary told CBS News Texas in a statement. And from the outgoing president of the group, I never thought I would need to advocate on their behalf in this way, but in the face of injustice, I'm proud to stand publicly behind them. The public support comes after Bishop Michael Olson last month accused the Reverend Mother Teresa Agnes of admitting to adultery with a priest, something she has denied. A lawsuit says he interrogated the nuns, copied their computers and phone, and banned priests from visiting. The civil attorney for the nine nuns told us they wrote to Olson last week, asking for mass, confession, and public access to be restored. The bishop's response, however, said the nuns had incited hatred and animosity against him. And normal service wouldn't resume until the nuns demonstrate love for and obedience to Holy Church or withdraw the lawsuit. The ladies auxiliary told me parishioners throughout the diocese, which includes more than a million Catholics, are stopping right now every day at noon to pray over the situation. They're also planning to gather for a public prayer later this week and also to lay roses at the gates of the closed monastery. In Arlington, Jason Allen, CBS News, Texas.